Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a teleporter GUI. Just before the video begins, I'd just like to say 92.2% .2 of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you want to head over to Explorer and you want to find Starter GUI. You then want to click on the plus button and insert a screen GUI. You can go and customize the name of the screen GUI, maybe to teleport a GUI, but for this tutorial, we will just leave it as screen GUI. Then you want to click on the plus button next to screen GUI and insert a frame. This frame here is going to be used as the frame that takes up the whole entire screen and basically on where the buttons are going to be because how this will work is a player will join into the game a button will be on the left here or wherever you decide to put it but for this tutorial it will be on the left here then a player clicks on a button over here that says teleport then a additional GUI will pop up with all the places that they can teleport to so we want to go over and change the background transparency to one so that we can see straight through and then we want to go and rename this to main frame because this is going to be our main frame which is going to be holding all of our buttons now we want to go and click on the plus button and insert a either a text button or an image button for this tutorial i'm using a text button but if you have an image that you would like to use instead of text saying that it is a teleporter feel free to go and do that but go and adjust your text button or your image button to have you would like i'm just going to be changing the font the size of the text and also the actual text. So I'm gonna go and do a text like this, kind of teleport, there we go, I think that should be good. So if a player clicks on that, a additional GUI will pop up. So now that you've finished customizing your teleport button, we now wanna head back to our teleport button, which we were just editing. And feel free to go and adjust this to however you would like, guys. Feel free to add UI corners, UI colors, you know, it doesn't really matter. For this tutorial, I've just left it extremely basic, but you can really make these look a lot nicer. But once you've done that, click on the plus button next to the text button and insert a local script. Now you want to go down to the description of this video, go and copy the first code, which is going to be probably called something like script one, um, GUI opener, something like that. You want to go and remove all the previous code from the script and then bring back the code that is from the description and paste it into Roblox Studio. Now, right now we can leave this code how it is. We will have to eventually come back to this and change a couple of things though. But for now, we can go up here and click X to close the script. So now we want to go and actually create our main UI that is going to be shown on the screen when someone clicks on this teleport button. So we can go and close this over here by where main frame, we can go and close it so it looks like that. Then we want to go back to our screen UI, click on the plus button and insert another frame. This is now going to be the frame which is holding those teleport buttons. Uh, well, the diff different teleport options, basically. So there we go. I will size up the UI actually a little bit bigger here. There you go. Something like that should be fine. And then we want to go and rename this to something maybe like teleport um, frame. Teleport frame would do good. There we go. And feel free to go and customize this to have you would like. For this tutorial, I'm going to be adding a bit of a UI corner just to kind of show you guys on what you can actually do to make it look a bit better. And now, as you can see, we've got nice curved edges and it is, isn't so blocky and cubey and it looks a bit more simulatory or a bit more smooth. But anyway, now that you've done that, we will now want to go up here and we want to click on the plus button and insert a text label. I'm just inserting a text label so you guys can see on what you can actually do to improve it. So right here is going to be our title, which is probably going to say something like teleporter. So we can go and change the text to teleporter uh, or, or teleports. It doesn't really matter. Uh, well, we'll just actually change it to teleport, change the font and we'll change the size. There we go. And actually we can also change the border pixel to zero so that there is no weird white line, black lines around the teleport there and that it is all just text and no additional boxes. So now that you've got that, we then want to go over to our teleport frame, click on the plus button and insert a text button or either a image button. For this tutorial, I'm using a text button because we are, this is going to be the button which is holding the area's name that we are going to be teleporting to. So for example, this button will be here, probably maybe like grass area or beach area or mushroom area, something like that, just so we can easily change the text. There, there we go, we can leave that like that. I'm gonna change the border pixel size 
to zero just so it looks a little bit better but we want to go back to our text button and we want to go and customize this now now keep in mind you can change the background color for this tutorial i'm going to make it a blue so that we can actually see where our button is but there we go we want to go and change the text now and we'll change the font the size of the text as well as the text of the text which will be let's call this blue area there we go and there's our blue area so if we click on this this will pop up and if we click on this we'll be teleported to blue area so once you've finished adjusting your gui you then want to go over to your text button but please keep in mind guys you can go and adjust this to however you would like add a bit of curved corners on it will make it look a whole lot better but we're going to keep it extremely basic for this tutorial but then we want to go over to the plus button where our text button is and click on the plus button and insert a local script then we want to go down to the description of this video and find script 2 you then want to copy script 2 and bring it back to roblox studio remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code so now that you've pasted in the code you don't need to change anything straight away what we need to do now is we want to go over here click on the x button and now we want to duplicate these text buttons these buttons that are holding the areas so here we go we're going to duplicate that du duplicate that again so it is kind of like that for this tutorial we will have three different areas but obviously now go and change the the text the colors and everything so this one will change to maybe like a more of a red color and then this one will change to more of maybe like a green sort of color and obviously we'll change it to red area green area stuff like that as you guys can see we have now got these blue area we've got a red area and we also got a green area now to make it so that the player actually teleports there what we want to do we want to go over to our teleport frame and we want to set the visibility to false basically unticking the visible icon here so that we can see what we are doing so what we want to do now we actually want to go and create the part which the player is going to be teleported to now obviously in your scenario you would be putting these in your area somewhere maybe in your spawn world in your beach world somewhere in between those maps but for this tutorial i'm just going to be doing extremely small kind of pads right here close by but there we go as we remember we got our blue one there so this will be our blue pad that blue uh, that blue should be fine we've also got a red one so we're going to make a red one there and then we have also got a a green one so we'll go and put a green one there and now we want to change the name of these parts so here we go blue part there we go just like that red part and then green part now depending on what you what area you are working with let's say this was maybe ocean world you'd go and put ocean world there because that's where you're teleporting to or maybe ocean teleporter but just you just focus on what you are changing the part to because it, we will have to adjust some things in the code to make it function correctly so now that you've gone and renamed all your location parts we now want to go back to our code here and we want to go over to the teleport frame make it visible again and now we want to go and select the correct buttons and we want to go and adjust a couple things here now so in the text button you want to click the down arrow uh, where it has got it highlighted so for this example we're using now the blue area we now want to go and adjust it so if someone clicks on the blue area here or the blue area ui we are teleported to this part's location so what we want to do we want to go to the local script and you want to go to line 10 and you want to change your part name to blue area but obviously our one is called blue part or blue area but obviously depending on what your area is called you want to change change your part name to whatever your area is or whatever your teleporter part is named so now that we've done that we want to go up here click on x and we want to go and do the exact same thing for the other two so we want to go back all the way to the second one so red area we want to go to the local script change this part name to red part x button up here and we want to do the exact same thing for the green thing over here the green one over here open up the script change your part name green part oh we, we just called it green but there we go green whatever your part name is so you want to do that on all the different teleporters you have so once you've finished adjusting everything there and you've made everything link up what you want to do you now want to head back to your main frame which is holding our teleport button and we want to go to that text button local script and now we want to go and change a couple things here so where it says frame we want to change frame to whatever our teleporter frame is whatever this frame right here is called we want to change this to whatever that is called so ours is called teleport frame 
we go and put teleport frame there. And the same thing here where it says frame, we go and call this teleport frame just like that. So once you've finished adjusting that, you want to go up here, click on X to go and save the script. And now that you guys have completed everything, we now want to go and close all these. And then on our teleporter frame, we want to click on that. And then we want to set the visibility to false, basically meaning we cannot see the GUI. Because how this will work now, if a player clicks on teleport, the our teleport frame GUI will show up. And then that will allow us to teleport to the different places. But once a player clicks on one of these areas and is teleported, the teleport frame GUI will automatically close. The only time you're able to then teleport again is if a player clicks on teleport, red area, and the GUI will close. Then they have to click on teleport again to go to the green area. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate. And if we click on teleport, our GUI will pop up. And if we click on the blue area, keep in mind, we are not on the blue pad right now. But if we go click on the blue area, we will be teleported to the blue pad right here. Now, keep in mind, you can set the transparency to zero. Basic, oh, sorry, set the transparency to one so that you cannot see these parts. But for the tutorial, we have just left them above the ground as it doesn't really matter. But as you guys could see, the GUI also did close once we had selected the area. Now we want to do the exact same thing and we want to test out the red area. We want to click on the teleport. We're still on the, the blue area. We want to click on the red area. And as you, oh, these are not anchored. So that's why I got flung there. But as you guys can see, we teleported to the red area and the GUI closed. Click on teleport again, green area. And as you guys can see, we teleported to the green area, but we got flung because these are not anchored. So make sure to anchor your teleporter pads. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video.